Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn about the lesson food safety. So the word food. So food is basically of all human beings. So it's a basic and why we need that food. So that food having some constituents. Constituents of food. So what are the constituents of food? Ah, carbohydrate. Proteins. So proper body growth, we require proper type of food or it should be safe for eating to us. What will happen sometimes due to some reasons? Any food material that gives foul smell or changing its color, so it becomes not safe to us to eat. So we call a spoiled food. What will happen first? Color. Skin of fruits becomes black. Second, put some juice. Back of foul or smell, you can say. So these are the two situations. Then it, this food is not safe to eat, so it is called spoiled food. So what is meant by food spoilage? So food spoilage is the process where a food product becomes unsuitable to ingest by the consumer. For simple words, we can say that the food is not safe to eat for us. It is called spoiled. Next one that is factors responsible for food spoilage. So there are two factors that are responsible for the spoilage of food. The first factor is wrong handling of food material or that particular food stuff. Nowadays, uh, in the market, many foods are available for us. Now, if sometimes that food is not handled properly or properly or in a wrong way, then that food stuff will get spoiled. So that first cause or factors is the wrong handling of food materials or fruits. Second one is overcooking. Sometimes we cook the food material or the food stuff for a longer time. Then the vitamins, there is a loss of vitamins or the minerals, carbohydrates, or we can say that the constituents of food. Then this is the reason for the food spoilage. Third one that is the improperly stored. Different foodstuffs are stored in different ways by using different methods. So that foodstuff if not stored properly then it will become spoiled. And the last point is that transportation. So transportation is the one of the most important process to carry the foodstuff from the producer to the consumer. So, 
The last point, transportation is responsible for the food spoilage. Next point is the food wastage. Now, a days, with the help of science and technology, our country has shown the great progress in the production of various food stuff in the world also. But though it is there, some peoples from our country or from the world, they are facing the problem of hunger. They are not getting a meal of one once a day. So that is the big problem of food wastage. So hence it is our duty to prevent food wastage where it takes place. Next, that is the types of food wastage. First one, that is quantitative wastage of food. So sometimes wrong methods of farming like hand sowing or inadequate fishing improper storage and wrong methods of distribution of food stuff. So first one is the wrong method of farming. So in the farming, due to the hand sowing method, so many seeds it wastes. So we can say that it's a quantitative wastage of food. Second one inadequate threshing. That is also a reason for the quantitative wastage of food or the methods, the wrong methods for the distribution of food stuffs. So these are the causes for quantitative wastage of food. So better way, what we have to do to prevent serve too much food to the guest at traditional feast. So we have to avoid this. We have to serve as much as we can eat or the guest can eat. That only we have to serve to them. Next time, that is qualitative wastage of food. So, what are the reasons? Let us see. First, using wrong methods of protecting food. Excessive use of food preservative. Food preservative are used for preservation or storage of food for longer times. If we use excessive or uh, in an excessive amount, then it will cause wastage of food also. Next, overcooking cooking of the foods may cause qualitative wastage of food or washing the vegetables after cutting them. So we have to wash the vegetable before cutting, not the after cutting. If we wash these vegetables after cutting, then it will lose the constituents, its constituents, vitamins, carbohydrates, and Next, mishandling of fruits like grapes and mangoes. So we have to handle it properly. Otherwise, it may cause for the quantity wasting of food. Next, miscalculation of the time required to transport food from producers to consumers. So it is very important point that miscalculation of the time required to transport food from producer to consumer that is the biggest reason for qualitative wastage of food material. Next point that is prevention for food wastage and spoilage. What precaution we have to take? First point, serve yourself only as much as you can eat. So we have to serve ourselves to as much as we can eat. Second, avoid overcooking of food. So it may cause a loss of constituents, vitamins, protein, minerals, then it will become wastage. So avoid overcooking of food. Third point. Avoid throwing away leftover food and reuse it in a proper way. So, no need to throw leftover food. We can use or reuse in a proper way. Four, store food stuff in a proper way. Different types of food stuffs are stored in a different place. So, we have to use proper method for that particular food stuff for storing. Next, check the expiry date of bottles and use within that time. So we have to check expiry date of any bottle or can or pack food and we have to use that food material within that time only, not after the expiry date. Last point, eat all the food that you have served yourself. So we 
have to finish all the four, that will be served for ourselves fully. So these are the points for prevention, for food wastage and spoilage. Next one that is food protection. So what is the food protection? Prevention of food spoilage by microbial growth that is called food protection. And next is food preservation. So use of various preservatives to prevent for a long period of time that is food preservation. So that is the basic difference between food protection and food preservation. Food preservation is for the longer time and food protection that is prevention of food spoilage by microbial growth. Next point is methods of food protection. So there are different methods used for food protection. So out of this first method is freezing. So biological and chemical reactions in food materials are slow down at low temperature. A lot of you know about that. At lower temperature that biological and chemical reactions that are slow down that microorganisms becomes inactive at low temperature. So we are using refrigerator in the kitchen for that purpose we will get a fresh food for a longer time. So freezing is the one of the uh, popular method used for the protection of food. Next method that is smoking. So that food material is prepared preserved with the help of smoke only. For example, aluminium phosphide is used in this method. So by smoking method, we can preserve the food material. Next method for the food protection is use of insecticides. So insecticides are used to protect the food material, mostly the grains. So methylene is spread on the honey bags containing food grains. So this way we can protect food grains by using insecticides. Now the method is irradiation. So in this method, food is exposed to ionizing radiations such as high energy electrons emitted by the X-ray. For example, X-rays, gamma rays, these are rays emitted by the radioactive isotopes. So these rays are used to pass through that food material and it will protect from spoilage. For example, the shelf life of potatoes and onions increases due to slow down squatting. So these rays are used to protect the food. So irradiation is the method to protect the food material. Now the method is use of insert gas. So we are commonly know that we are using heating potato vapors and that are available in the packets. So nitrogen gas is filled in airtight packets of potato vapors and other food products. So therefore, it preventing the growth of fungus and insect aging. So that nitrogen gas is used for prevention of food spoilage or prevent the growth of fungus and insects. So use of insect gas is the method used for the food protection. Now we use some preservatives. At home, generally we are using salt, sugar and oil to make a pickle. What is used for that preservative? So it decreases the speed of that food becomes small. So our food is available say for a longer time. So that natural preservatives include salt, sugar and so these three are salt, sugar and oil are for the natural preservative. So these preservatives are used in various postures like fecal, jams, purapa and etc. So we can use this. Next they are called chemical preservatives. They are prepared in lab or uh, in industries like acidic acid. Commonly we call it as vinegar or the citric acid or sodium benzoate or some chemical preservatives. So these chemicals are used to store the food for longer time. So they are used in sauce, gels, jams, and 
is possible to keep the food safe for very long duration. We can also use chemical preservative and a natural preservative to protect food from spoilage. A very popular method that is pasteurization. Generally, this method is used for milk cooking and other food stuff similar to that. So, in this method, heating the milk or other similar food stuff up to a certain temperature. For example, milk is heated up to 80 degrees Celsius and suddenly or quickly it becomes cool. So, what will happen by this method? It destroys the microbes present in the milk and it will keep for a longer duration. So that pasteurization method is used to keep food stuff safe for longer times, for example, milk. Next point is food adulterer. What is food adulterer? So the some harmful products or substances they are mixed with the Foodstuffs. So that foodstuffs becomes unsafe to eat for us. These are called adulterant. For example, milk is our foodstuff. And adulterant is water. So what will happen when water is added to the milk, its quality will, will, will become decrease or we can say that it is adult or chili powder so people are using or mix to bring powder Powder is a adulterant in that chili powder. Now, what are the effects of eating that adulterant food? So, that adulterant food is not safe for us to eat. It may cause some bad effect on our health. So, first point some adulterant cause abdominal discomfort or sometimes it may occur poisoning the soul. Second, it affects the functioning of different organs. So it may affect different organs, different problems we will face if we eat that type of food. Third point, if it is consumed for a long period of time, then it may cause cancer also and it is very dangerous to us or to our health. So these are the points for food adulterants and effects of eating adulterant food. Food is adulterated by this way also. So there are different ways. The first removal of components of food. So important components of food where it removes, it will also adulterate food. For example, removal of clouds for drums. Next, mixing of low quality material or harmful colors with the food. So you can see that food materials. Different types of colors are used in that food material, but these colors are sometimes these harmful for us. Then mixing of small stones, fine sand, urine, dug of earth, sawdust, this. For example, urea is mixed with that milk also. So this is uh, very dangerous for us. So food is adulterated by this also. So we have to take precautions. We have to not eat adulterated food. And how will you find out if food has been adulterated? We can check at home that food stuff or that food material is it adulterated or not. So some tests are given. First test for food material milk. And adulterated is water. How to check that water is mixed with that milk? So test is there. So put a drop of milk on a glass plate and slightly inclining to spread the drop. You have to put 
one drop on that glass slide and slightly where we incline to spray the drop. What are the observations or conclusions? If the sprayed mark or milk does not appear milky white, if the color of that drop which is sprayed is not a milky white, then water must have been added in it. If that trough, spread trough, appears milky white, then this milk is not added. So, very easy way we can check it. Next also, second food stuff or second material, food material is red chili powder. Very commonly food stuffs that we are using milk and we are using also red chili powder to cook the food we are using this. Then another is brick dust. Why brick dust is used? Because both having the same color. That chili powder having red color and that brick dust is also having the red in color. So it can easily mix with that chili powder. So another is brick dust. Now how to check that brick dust is present in that given food stuff or given chili powder. So taste is there. Take a spoonful of chili powder in a beaker. So take one beaker. In that beaker you can take spoonful of chili powder. Then add water up to half beaker. You have to take water. You have to add water half of the beaker. Then stir it and leave it undisturbed for a few minutes. So once we make the solution, we have to stir it and we have to leave that solution of that mixture for few minutes undisturbed conditions. Next conclusion, what will we conclude from that? If a red layer is seen settled at the bottom of the big, if Red color layer is seen at the bottom of the layer of the beaker, then it must be added with the brick dust because in that bottom layer is of the brick dust only. It having more density and that chili powder, so it will become settled down at the bottom of the beaker only. So this way, very easy we can check. The adulterated food materials. Let us check this food material milk by using the given test. For that purpose, what we will require that milk. So, milk is here only. Then, uh, glass line, it is here. So, let us check. So first, is put a drop of milk on a glass slide. So this is a glass slide, and one drop I will put here only. Okay, only one drop. Then incline it to spread the drop. So you can see that color that is milky white. So that milk is not adulterated. Now in the second part we will see that the adulterated food material. For adulterated food, in that milk will add some water. I have add some water and shake it. That is our food sample, food stuff. Next, same test. Take a glass line on that. Put a drop, a single drop.
and then spread it. That you can see, it is not a milky white. So water is added in it. So this way we have checked the milk where it is added or not. Second good stuff for Madeira it is red chili powder and adapter is big dust. So here red chili powder is you can see that red chili powder. Then I will transfer that uh, what is this taste spoonful of chili powder in a beaker. So I will transfer it in a beaker chili powder. Then add water up to the half of the beaker. Now I will add some water. Or up to the half. I have added. Then stir it and leave it undisturbed for a few minutes. I'm stirring it. And leave it few minutes for undisturbed conditions. Let's check that beaker. So here you can see uh, what we did. First transfer, we have transferred some uh, chili powder in beaker. We add, added some water in it and stir and leave it for few minutes and disturb conditions. So you can see no layer is seen at the bottom of the bottom of the beaker. No layer is seen. It means that our food is not at a tray. Now let us see, we will add some brick dust in that red chili powder sample, then we will check. Same experiment. Now second sample for the of that chili powder. Here you can see that chili powder. Now I am going to add some brick powder in it. Then I will transfer that in a big. Then I will add some water in it. Half of the beaker like this. Then uh, as for the procedure or the test, stir it and leave it undisturbed for few minutes. So I will stir it and leave it for few minutes undisturbed conditions. You can see uh, red color layer is seen at the bottom of the beaker. It means that that chili powder is adulterated. So this way you can check the food material is adulterated or not. Same way you can use or you can check the turmeric powder. The adulterate is methanol A. Taste is even. Take a pinch of turmeric powder in a tissue. Then Add a small quantity of water to it. So first we have to take a pinch of turmeric powder in a teaspoon, then add some water, then share the mixture and add a few drops of 
concentrated HCl that is concentrated hydrochloric acid. So we have to add some drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid in that mesh too. What will be the conclusion? The mixture becomes red on addition of concentrated hydrochloric acid. If that mixture becomes red in color while adding concentrated hydrochloric acid and the red color does not disappear if methanic level is present. So that methanic level is present, it means that the red color becomes purple. Also, we can check for rubber that we are commonly use. And other that is fine iron fillings. That iron fillings mix with that rubber. So what the test? We have to pass a magnet to that rubber. Food sample is there, and we have to pass a magnet in it. What will happen? Iron fillings will get attracted towards that magnet. If no iron fillings will get attracted towards that magnet, means no other drug is present in that food sample. This way we can check the other trade food materials. So today we have learned about food, food spoilage, factors responsible for food spoilage, then wastage of food, qualitative wastage, quantitative wastage, then preservation of food. We have seen about the methods of food preservations. Then the test for the food product runs. Thank you.